I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn what do we understand by non-permissible values for rational functions. Well as you know the rational functions can be written as quotient of polynomial functions that is to say p of x divided by q of x where q of x is not equal to zero. Now all those values which make denominator as zero are not permitted and those are what we refer to as NPVs or non-permissible values. The other name for it is restrictions. Since the function has a restriction, right, it could have more than one restriction, so we'll say restrictions, right. So always remember that a rational function can have restrictions, right. So we'll explore a few examples and it is for you to figure out and to write down all the non-permissible values for the given rational functions. So I'll give you one example which is let's say 2x minus 1 divided by x minus 1. So write down the restrictions and that is question A for you and B I'll write down a few and you write down the restrictions right. So we could have a quadratic function here let me say x plus 1 divided by let me write it in factored form x plus 1 times x minus 1 c I'm writing one function as 2x over we can write a quadratic function like x square minus 2x plus 3 for example okay and uh, okay so let me make this minus 3 for the time being. That will help us actually to get the right answer easily. Now part D I'll give you equation as 1 over x square plus 4 and then E let the equation be 2x minus 3 over x. Okay these are good enough. So tell me what are the restrictions on each one of these rational functions. Well all of them are rational functions. The numerator and denominators are polynomials and we are dividing one by the other. Okay. So let's write down the restrictions one by one. So in the very first one we equate denominator to zero. So if x minus one equals to zero then we get x is equals to one and therefore the restriction is that x should not be equal to one. Do you see this is one thing. Or if the question is write non-permissible values. So the non-permissible values is 1. right? So we'll write it in two ways. First way we'll write as a restriction and we can also say non-permitted value is 1 or x equals to 1. Okay. Next one. Here x plus 1 can be 0 for minus 1. right? So here the non-permitted value is x equals to minus 1 and this one will be 0 for x equals to plus 1. So we have two values here. For this particular question we cannot directly write. So in such questions we need to factor. So let us factor this. So we have 2x divided by we need product of minus 3 and sum of minus 2. So we can say this could be factored as x minus 3 times x plus 1 right. So, so that becomes easy to factor. I kind of change the value. I hope you appreciate it. Now this denominator will be 0 for x equals to 3. So I say non-permitted value in this particular case is x equals to 3 or minus 1. So there are two values since we have these two factors which could be 0, right? Now here we have 1 over x square plus 4. Let us equate x square plus 4 to 0. What do we get? We get x square equals to negative 4. You know, x square cannot be negative number. x square has to be positive, right? So here, the non-permitted values are what? None, right? So you see, no, none. Here, the domain is x belongs to real numbers. Do you understand? There is no restriction for this function. Okay? So that is kind of important. You will note later that if I sketch x square plus 4, let me sketch x square plus 4 and explain you here. x square plus 4 will be a graph kind of like this. 
This graph does not have x-intercepts. It is never zero. And that is the reason why this will have no restriction or it will ha not have any value which will not be permitted. So all values are permitted for this function. Now here, non-permitted value will be x equals to 0. Since if I put 0 here, we are dividing by 0. I hope with this you have fairly good idea of restrictions on rational functions or when we talk about non-permissible values, NPVs. In my videos, I'll be using the word restrictions most of the time. I hope that makes you understand what we are getting into. So whenever we have a rational function, we may have restrictions or we may have some values which x cannot take. So those are non-permissible values, NPVs. So remember that when we solve rational functions. I hope that helps. Thank you.